What's up guys, my name is Chad. Welcome back to another exploring adventure. Today we're gonna to be going through this abandoned mall that we found. Apparently the mall wasn't doing so well to begin with. And then uh, when COVID hit, uh, everything just went downhill from there. So the mall went totally out of business due to COVID. Um, it wasn't that busy of a mall to begin with, but now the mall is officially closed and uh, we're gonna be going through and exploring this place. I do have Angelo with me. We'll meet up with him in a minute. Go check his channel out. We've been traveling around doing some really cool stuff. If you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get on this adventure. Remember to never be scared. Let's explore this place. Let's go. All right, guys. Wow, look at this. This is insane. Completely empty. We have been hearing some noises in here, but I think it's just, you know, an old creaky abandoned building. I don't think anybody's in here, but we'll see as we explore this place. They did close down right around 2019 and uh, never reopen, unfortunately. So better for us to be able to explore the place. Yeah, so check this out. Look at this, you guys absolutely crazy there's still power on in here which is pretty nuts all kinds of lights left on things left behind just totally crazy left all this stuff in here look at these shelves we've moved across from victoria's secret oh this this was the uh, sports collectible store in here they got these little glass cases. They probably had uh, the sports collectibles here on the shelves, just chilling. But yeah, this is nuts. Totally crazy. I always wondered what these back areas look like behind the actual stores. And uh, it's probably just storage, but yeah, this is pretty crazy. Bathroom and power some old files and stuff in here Emptied it out Yo, Check this out right here you guys This must have been Maybe a cell phone place maybe AT&T store. Yeah, AT&T Look at that <laughs> old cell phone store with nothing left Can I get a cell phone? I need a new one Anybody working here? Wow, this is really crazy. It's so eerie that it's a, just left here abandoned. Oh, look at all this stuff they just left here. Holy cow. An Amazon Kindle. I'm sure this thing's not working, but they just left it behind. Check it out, you guys. It's like an old, maybe Christmas type store. Christmas tree shop maybe or something like that. I don't know if they would have that in the mall, but they just left all these fake trees and Christmas stuff behind in here. Totally nuts. And oh, a present. The Jimboree collection. Yeah, it's crazy that there's power still on in here. They just left it. I think they're gonna demolish the place. So it's unfortunate that they won't really redo anything with it. But malls are kind of dying now with online shopping and everything. So I think people just don't care for them. They don't want to go out and go shopping at a mall. They'd rather just have Amazon or somebody deliver their stuff to them. But it's kind of sad. I used to like going to the mall, man. But times have really changed. Now, look at this. Old crazy Christmas setup right here. We got some fake presents. Santa, are you here? Oh, I thought that was a real fireplace for a sec. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, but this is cool. This is like untouched and brand new basically for your fire logs. Pretty cool. And then the old, this is obviously fake, but the old brick looking fireplace here. Kind of cool looking. And then Santa's little workshop here. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh, it's Mrs. Claus. 
Look at her. How old is Mrs. Claus now? Like a few hundred years old? Yeah, these are just empty presents. Yeah, they, I think they might have closed around Christmas time because it seems like there's a lot of Christmas type stuff going on in here. But just amazing, you guys. It's kind of eerie, too, how silent it is. You can hear, you know, some little mini sirens around, but there's really nothing going on in here whatsoever. It's like eerily quiet. Here we go, you guys. Check out this little kiosk area right here in the middle. You know, just imagine when this place was open and popping. They had a whole bunch of these kiosks. That's how all the malls were. Just little kiosk areas all over the place. Little t-shirt prints and all kinds of different things they used to do. But no longer. Wow, this looks like maybe an old hair salon or something back here. This is real, real creepy. It's kind of eerie. It's definitely very eerie how quiet it is. But yeah. The old hair salon right here. Yeah, wow, look at all this stuff in the back here. So color for your hair, I guess. Hair coloring, different things, man. This is just real creepy. Real creepy how it's just left. But what happens man I wonder if there's another floor to this I don't think this goes up at all I'm not really sure but we're gonna find out as we go through here but just totally completely abandoned empty oh there's H&M the old H&M store just man it just this is just totally crazy man and it's kind of unfortunate, man. A lot of people who worked in these places were owners of them, you know, went out of work and who knows what they're doing now. But it's unfortunate that they lost their jobs and everything because of a mall closing. Oh, here's Bath and Body Works right here. I actually used to like this store. One of my ex-girlfriends years ago used to come to Bath and Body Works and get stuff. But, totally cool. It actually smells really nice in here. Like, as if they did leave the soap behind. <laughs> the rest of them all kind of stinks of mold and just emptiness, but this is pretty cool right here. These little shelves, setups, all wood too. All old school wood. Pretty neat. But, Nothing left. They took mostly everything out of here, unfortunately. It'd be cool to find some old relics and stuff in here. But it doesn't look like it's happening, at least in this store. Okay, so down there, there's a Kohl's. And I think it might be open because I swear I saw somebody walking through there. So I'm not... Oh, there is somebody. Oh, it is open. Yeah, I see somebody walking. Sorry, my hand was in the way. There's definitely somebody walking through that Coles. So I think it is actually open. But we're going to find out as we walk down there. But that's weird. I thought this whole place was actually shut down. And uh, I'm not actually sure if that's part of this. It's got to be on the inside here. Maybe they don't even care that we're walking through here. It's not like we're damaging anything or doing anything. We're just exploring, but... All right, so here we go into uh, Master Cuts. I'm going to try and show you guys all the different stores that are here. At least from what we can see. Some of them took the signs down and stuff like that, but... Man, this is just totally weird. It's bizarre. It almost feels like freaking like a zombie apocalypse happened or something and we're just kind of roaming around here's a little back area to master cuts oh some more of that soul color stuff that they love here <laughs> that's pretty nuts but yeah they freaking left so much stuff in here it's 
weird. It's totally weird that there's power on. So bro, there at the end, all the way down there, there's a Coles and it's 100% open because there's like people walking around. In there. I swear to God, I didn't walk all the way. From, no, because I didn't go that far down. But from a distance, you could just see people walking across. It's definitely open. <laughs> A hundred percent. I'm gonna make my way down here. It's so crazy to me, dude. I don't think they saw me in that coals, but I don't know how close I should go to it. I mean, who knows? Maybe they don't even care. What the heck is this? It's a big open empty space. Look at this. I'm not sure what this was used for. There was no sign on the front. Maybe some kind of clothing store here. These look like uh, little dressing room type areas. So this probably was a little clothing store. It's weird that there's no shelves in this one. They emptied this one out. But Let's see what's in the back here. Just more, more and more dressing areas. Huh. <laughs> it's so bizarre. How funny would it be if I just walked into Kohl's right now? Like, oh, I took the wrong way. I went through the abandoned mall. I was just looking for a scarf for the winter time. Can you guys help me? All right, let's see what we got in here. Does this open? Yes, it does. What do we got going on? inside here there was no sign on this one either so i'm not sure exactly what this was but i don't know interesting shelving so maybe some sort of uh maybe another electronic type store like the at&t store or something like that not really sure kind of opens up over there damaged items only wow okay yeah maybe this will tell me Kind of what this place was. I know. They just, these are just like screws and stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that was for the shelving right there. And no donuts left, unfortunately. Wow, okay. I wonder what this was right here. So this looks different. I mean, obviously, all the stores in the mall, even when it's open, everything looks completely different in all the stores based on what they sell. But obviously, you know, all of them just have different shelving and stuff, whatever they're selling. But this is, oh, sorry, oh, crap. Hey, the mirror. Oh, what is it? Turn head sexy. Let us show you what the right Ra can do. Yeah, I definitely turn heads, that's for sure. This place, I don't know, this might have been maybe a jewelry? Maybe, because the floor, I don't know, the floor is nice in here. It's different than the other stores. Some of them had carpeting. This one has nice tile on the inside of it. And drawers, oh, maybe, oh yeah, maybe bras or some kind of women's clothing. 34 double D, my favorite. I think this right here was some kind of, like a kid's store or something. Because look up, they got this little like cartoon type balls hanging from the ceiling. I think that's some sort of light or something. But yeah, look at like the Avengers right there. Maybe this was some sort of comic book place, comic book store maybe. Yeah, look, they got Hulk Smash on the wall, Spider Man. Yeah. I think this might have been a comic book store here. But this is pretty neat. Oh. Is that just Angelo? That was creepy. Okay, anyway. But yeah, look at this, man. Little, little dressing rooms again. Stealing is a crime. Shoplifters will be prosecuted. You're right. Don't steal stuff. Yeah. 
on. They got a little stage set up right here with some CDs, some just some old school CDs. Wow. Really crazy left behind. Holy cow. Kind of creepy to see just all this stuff left here. But unfortunate, you know? Super duper unfortunate. And that happened with a lot of places, not just malls. A lot of people's businesses closed. And that's kind of sad. Oh, look, I found a freaking safe right here. I wonder if there's any money in it, dude. I mean, obviously, you're not going to get it open, but why would they leave something like that behind? They probably emptied it out, though, too, before they left. So any chance of anybody trying to open it, they probably wouldn't be able to. And there probably wouldn't be anything in it because I'm sure they emptied it out. But still creepy to see that. You always wonder, man. It's really weird that there's freaking these little silent alarms going off all over the place. What is it happening? All in here? Yeah, I'm not gonna go in there, but fire alarm control panel room. <laughs> the fire alarm is going off in there. And apparently nobody cares. <laughs> apparently no one gives a crap. So, we've made it this far. Yeah, here's another cell phone store, you guys. Most LTE data, six gigabytes for 30 bucks. This looks like maybe a T-Mobile. Or total wireless, it says. It's some kind of cell phone store that they had here. Obviously trashed. But yeah, this is nuts. What's back here? Any any cell phones back here? Oh, oh! Freaking little mouse. Freaking little mouse. Hey, mousey. Where'd you go, buddy? Creeping around the mall looking for uh, cheese. Looking for some cheese. Don't worry, buddy. I'm not going to harm you. But yeah, look, imagine if there was like iPhones left here. I mean, they've left the boxes behind. This looks like it's for an iPad. But yeah, another type of electronic store back here. But yeah, see, I don't think I'm going to go walking near that Coles. I don't want to get caught out. Don't want to get my boy caught out, so I'm going to back, walk back this way. I don't think there's another floor to go up. I think it's just one floor. But we're going to search around and see what else is here. Uh, yeah, but definitely super creepy. Super eerie that it's just left abandoned like this. But I don't know what's up with that coals. It's weird that that would be open. But... Who the hell knows? All right, guys, we're going to call it from the abandoned mall. Crazy little explore we just did. There is no second floor, so... Uh, and plus, I didn't want to walk over there. I think Coles is open, so... We ain't getting caught out in here, but... We're going to call it from the abandoned mall. Super creepy that it was just left behind. We saw some really cool stuff in here. Go check out Angelo's channel. I've been traveling around with him. We've been doing some really cool stuff. If you haven't already, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all my other crazy adventures coming up. Remember to never be scared and we're going to take off from the abandoned mall. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Hope you liked the video and uh, take care of yourselves. Peace.